Now, I'm well aware that I owe you guys a little bit of an apology. You see, I've had this golf club in my possession for quite some time now, and I'm yet to review it because, well, it's a hybrid, and it's not exactly a forgiving hybrid. But then, as soon as I got to look at it in person, I thought, oh my lord, this could be the best looking hybrid I've ever seen. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson, welcome back to this channel. Today we have the Mizuno STZ Hybrid. Now what makes this so special, and to be honest, the big point of this video is what makes it so expensive. If you look online, these retail at around 249. RRP was nearly 300 pounds for one of these hybrids. Why is it so special? Why is it so expensive? And what exactly does it do? for that price. So in today's video, that's exactly what we are gonna find out, guys. We're gonna test it both out here on the golf course and we're gonna test it in the simulator to see just how well this does perform, both on good shots, on miss hits. And we're also gonna see if it is the perfect low spin hybrid for you guys who want to have a nice versatile club in the top end of the bag. You don't necessarily want a five wood, you don't want a seven wood, but you also don't want those long irons. Long irons for me are almost a thing of the past now, especially with golf clubs like this that do almost have the kind of style of an iron head, but it's a little bit CG forward, it's a little bit lower spin, it's a little bit sexier, I suppose you could say. You see it is the STZ230 model we have, that adjustable hosler, we have that Cortex chamber, which I'll get to a little bit later on in this video. But the big story here isn't any of that, it's this. This feels and sounds absolutely incredible. And if that's something you're interested in when looking at golf clubs, if you want a golf club that yes, it performs well, yes, we get a nice low spin, yes, we can get some pretty interesting numbers with this. I also want a golf club that's gonna feel nice. I want a golf club that's gonna give me a little bit of feedback. And that's something which Mizuno have done for years and years and years in their irons. Mizuno are well aware that their metal woods have been in the shadows waiting to come out. Is this the club that's gonna allow them to do that? And is this the club that's gonna get more and more people buying into the Mizuno metal wood families, the drivers, the hybrids, the fairway woods. Can I play a nice low shot down that left side? Yes, I can. And you can see there, even with a little bit of turf interaction, that one's running down the left side of that fairway. The big thing that I think this club needs to have is versatility. If a good player is gonna put this in their bag over a TaylorMade Stealth 2, over a Ping G430LS Tech, over a Titleist, over a Callaway, the, the list is endless, let's be fair. It needs to have that element of versatility. Fair to say, looking down at the ball, it does look absolutely stunning. I love that shape. It's almost like Mizuno have gone, you know what? What can we do with this shape to make better golfers want it? We're basically gonna make it sleeker. We're gonna make it sexier. We're gonna make it have quite a small footprint overall. And that is gonna entice better players who don't need all that forgiveness to put this in the bag. Right, let's go normal swing again. Let's just get a nice shot out here. How good does this have to perform though for that price? That was a little bit healy. It still launched quite nice and high. It's just fading down that right hand side quite a bit. That's not a shot that the average golfer who goes and buys this will be hitting. So I think this is designed for the better golfer, the golfer that aspires to not hit shots like this strike here. Let's go and find another hole. Let's test this club in some different scenarios. Then let's jump in that studio and see just how good this club is. And let's be honest, if it's worth the price tag. So I hear what you're all saying, just what makes this hybrid so special and does it warrant that price tag? What features does it have and what technology does it have in it? It features the Cortec chamber, that is Mizuno's effort to encase a stainless steel weight with Elastoma TPU, taking stress from the club face and creating an additional energy source. At the same time, locating weight closer to the club face to reduce spin while contributing to a more solid, powerful sensation at impact. So the beauty about a good low spin hybrid is that it can wear many hats. And for me, if this is gonna be an option for off the tee, maybe for in the summer when the golf course is playing a little bit firmer, this is the perfect place it would be. So quite a narrow hole. We've got out of bounds over to the right hand side. We've got some fairway bunkers up on the left. And the big problem we have really, we are into the wind. So I wanna play a shot that's gonna pitch around 200 yards here. If it runs out on the dry fairway, then great. But this is the shot that's gonna make people want to invest in a club like this, especially when it's so expensive. There's so many clubs on the market 
that can do this. If I can't play this down, then it almost becomes a little bit obsolete. That one's gone a little bit high, it's going to be safe. It's not exactly the ball flight I would have wanted, to be honest. Let's see if we can keep it down again by playing another one. The big thing really is that launch angle. Can I get that? That's the launch angle we want. That one's a little bit left with it, one right, one left. Not ideal for a club. I mean, obviously we are talking about the pilot here, I know, but for a club that I'm really having to work hard to manipulate, I feel like I should be able to do it a bit easier with that price tag. I mean, then you hit that shot and the world's just a beautiful place again, isn't it? Guys, let's jump in the studio. Let's see just how good this club is when it comes to numbers and what club it could potentially replace in your bag, if any. So when I took this hybrid into the studio, it was actually the first time I got to look at it, the first time I got to feel it. And of course, the first time I got to actually hit it. I filmed this before taking it outside and I was really impressed with how it felt, really impressed with how it sounded for me. That is a big part of buying golf clubs. I know a lot of people do disagree, but it did kind of feel the part, look the part, and sound the part, even with some questionable golf swings from me, which I think is important to test golf clubs maybe when you haven't got your best stuff with you. I think numbers-wise, you're going to be quite impressed with this. It's done everything that I wanted it to do. You'll see ball speeds around exactly where it should be for a hybrid of this loft and of this length. Spin rate is pretty good. It's nice and low. Given it's a carry of 223, so for me, that would fit in nicely between my bag, my three woods around, 2 kind of 50 ish and my four irons around kind of 210 so that should fit in quite nicely but wait guys there's a little bit more technology i want to talk you through and this might be why they're charging so much for this club get in the comments below and let me know is it worth the money and would you have this in your bag let's take a look impact i must say it does feel good i do like it they've got a waffle crown and a thick sole weight that's engineered to create low sweet spot and deep center of gravity for high stable launch and efficient spin rates again fair to say we can't really argue with that i do like the look of that sole as well and the crown we have high energy mas 1c steel face that is designed to be reworked with a new multi-thickness design made possible through the face support of the cortex chamber they were mentioned in point one. We have a quick switch hosel again, so we can just change that loft on there. And we also feature premium shafts and grips. For me, I really think I'm struggling to see how it is worth that much money. Let's go and hit some more shots with it and see if it can sway my opinion. Okay, pretty good numbers there. It was always going to be a nice solid hybrid. I think very rare do you see a modern day hybrid from one of the bigger brands that doesn't perform well, that doesn't give you a decent amount of ball speed, some nice launch and a decent spin rate. I think distance wise, that's good. It's exactly what I would want it to. Is it versatile enough for me to want to put in the bag? I guess it's direct competitor would be the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus. It would be maybe the Callaway Apex range. I think they're maybe just a little bit better and I don't think they're much more expensive either. I think they might actually be the same. So Mizuno's gone head to head with TaylorMade, with Titleist, with Callaway, with kind of the, the same level of brands. I'm not going to say the bigger brands because there's no bigger brand than Mizuno. I would like to see this being a little bit more versatile, but then if you just want a really good looking hybrid that sounds solid, feels good, and let's face it, you just want to give Mizuno a little bit of a chance because you love the irons, this thing's not going to disappoint you. Is it as good as anything else on the market? Yes. Is it head and shoulders above everything else on the market? Probably not. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video on the brand new Mizuno STZ230 Hybrid. And apart from that, I look forward to seeing you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.